many people have asked how you can be a Christian and a spiritualist and I would say it's very easy because uh, you can be a, a spiritualist and be of many other religious pers persuasions um, all the religions of the world are built on the same foundation and that uh, we, of the understanding that we are all of God, the Great Spirit, this all-pervading Great Spirit, Spirit of Creation, and that we all have an indwelling Spirit, a spark of that Divine Source that has breathed life into us, as well as all, all other animate creation. And of course, has breathed substance into the inanimate as well, put a life force into everything that exists. And even vegetables, uh, flowers, trees, rocks, um, the earth itself, the waters that lie within it and on the surface of our planet. But Christians are actually those who follow the teaching and example of Jesus and accept his pronouncements about the afterlife, embodied, as it were, by his ultimate demonstration, how he was cruelly killed by the Roman occupiers of his country, and showed himself, as he had told his followers beforehand that he would, he showed himself, he materialised, he ate and drank and talked with them after that event, that dreadful event. In fact, in his lifetime, he was seen to be speaking with two other great prophets who had passed before, a long time before, when he was accompanied by his closest friends and disciples, Peter, James and John. And they saw him standing and talking with Moses and Elijah. And they were long dead, past the spirit, as we call it, while he was still very much part of everything that was going on in this earthly life. So all this phenomena that us spiritualists are used to and understand in this modern day, the only difference and major stumbling block for modern Christians, all marshalled as they are into their various sects and orthodoxies, is that we know that all life continues to exist in another spirit dimension without having to believe in any particular doctrine, dogma or believe that taking part in any particular ceremonials will give us a pass to heaven and the realms of light because we know that we all inherit eternal life as our birthright. We come from spirit, we are spirit here and now and we pass back, if you like, to that spirit world from whence we came and we are indeed doing that because it's part of our natural progress. It isn't anything to do with who we say we believe in or who we don't. It's how we live our lives that is very important. It's what we do on the earth plane that is very important and yes indeed it will colour the conditions and the situation in which we find ourselves immediately after we pass from this life. So I hope that that explains a little about how we can be spiritualists and still be Christians. There, I'll leave you with those few thoughts. And if you want to see any more about this, you could get my book, which is a spiritualist handbook, which you can get on Amazon, or go to the website, which is www.newchristianspiritualistsociety.com and uh, there you will find lots of interesting articles and, and writings that will give you food for thought. God bless you and thank you for joining me on this occasion.